Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image back with part two of our series on how to make your Canon 550D or 60D photos or video quality look like it came out of a Canon 5D Mark II. So part two of our series is technique. So technique, we talked about lighting in the first part. And I guess it could be argued that lighting is part of your technique, but they are pretty much two different things. Um, technique is more learning how to use your equipment, how to use your camera, how to use your lens, how to figure out the aspects that you're shooting from, the angles, how to use supplementary equipment, such as when you're shooting video, um, you know, steady cams, gliders, dollies, all these types of things that compose your technique so that you're able to approach your shots with a fresh eye and a unique perspective um, so that it comes across, you know, rather than just a flat, boring image or a flat, boring video, you're able to draw your viewer in to make a unique perspective to provide something that's visually stimulating. And with technique, uh, once your lighting's correct, when you combine technique to that, you can um, really ramp up the quality of what you're producing with your 550D or your 60D or any camera for that matter. But basically, if uh, if your technique is bang on, if you've learned to, you know, if you've studied the masters, if you've learned, you know, in what situations when you're shooting video that a certain camera angle works best or a certain camera angle combined with certain lighting or uh, when you should be using a dolly system or when you should be um, shooting from a high perspective versus a low perspective or ultra wide versus nice and tight on your subject and you know you combine that with the lighting that you've already learned we discussed in part one you're going to be able to make your video really pop out again one of the best ways to learn this is to be watching and studying the masters find the guys that you like their video the best i'm not going to tell you who i think is the best because it's personal you need to basically be uh emulating people that where you want to go so you learn from people whose stuff you like and learn a technique from them study their stuff figure out how they've done it figure out how to replicate it and then develop your own style your own technique for doing things and if you can do that and pair that with the lighting uh, superiority, if you figure out your lighting like we talked about in part one, mix that with a superior technique, you're gonna have incredible imagery, incredible video out of your 550D, out of your 60D, and you're gonna be able to have it such that people aren't gonna be able to tell if it came out of a 5D Mark II or if it came out of your 550D. And um, so that's the next step, that's part two, is technique. Master your technique, study the greats, study up books you can get, watch video tutorials, just watch you know, movies, look at pictures and see how they've done it. Try to backstep it on how they've set up that shot or that video. Try to figure it out, deconstruct it, and then go and try to put something similar together yourself. And this is a great, great learning technique um, to build your technique and your style. And it's something that we are all always doing. You know, I have much more experience as a photographer. I'm, I'm new to the video scene, relatively new. And um, so I'm constantly evolving, even still my photography, which I've been at for, you know, over a decade. But the video, um, you know, there's, it's all new to us that are shooting DSLRs because DSLR video is new. So um, there's a lot to be had. It's a nice level playing field in the sense that um, there's a lot of guys you can learn from, but because it's so new, everybody, uh, you know, the vast majority of people are starting out into it. So now's the time to develop your technique, get a good foothold, combine that with your superior lighting skills. And this is how you can make, you know, your camera like your 550D, your T2i, or your 60D shine and make it so that people are like hey was that shot on a 5d mark ii and uh, i could tell you that you know a pro that really knows how to do that can present something like that and you'd swear it was shot on a 5d mark ii so anyways folks that's part two in our series stay tuned soon um we will be back with part three of how to make your 550d or 60d images and video look like it came out of a 5d mark ii thanks for tuning in folks we'll talk to you soon